Hey, fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Today I want to talk about multifilament versus poly strings. What should you use? So I know not everybody loves multifilament strings. First of all, multifilament means it's several filaments. It's like a pretty complex string to make it softer to give you more power. It's going to give you less control and less spin potential. That's with all multifilaments, but there are different multifilaments and I tend to prefer a bit of a stiffer multifilament with more control. So my favorite is the Head Velocity MLT 130 gauge black. The color makes a difference in strings. We talked about this before. The darker you go, the more control, the brighter you go, uh, the more lively uh, it is. The multis are generally recommended for people with arm issues. In my experience, multifilament strings are very useful for players that are relatively new or like to save their arm. I had my buddy Mike on the channel some years back in Malta. The guy with the flat strokes, pretty tall guy, used to play with Velocity MLT 125 in his vocal racket and he hit a good ball. He played a very flat game, but uh, it worked for him to play with that. Steven as well, who was in my Prestige Classic video and used to play uh, some tour events back, you know, 20 years ago or so. He also prefers multifilament strings to save his arm. He plays a PT57A, you know, the pro stock. So they're definitely good players that use multifilament strings and no shame in that at all. Uh, multifilament strings will start moving quickly if you're a pretty good player and hit hard. And you might need to replace them even sooner than a poly string. But they do play really nice for the arm with good comfort. I feel like a multifilament string can be really pillowy. Even better maybe than a multifilament is a gut string but I do feel like that gives you a little bit less spin potential than a Velocity or Technifiber Triax. For example, even the new Babula Exalt string that I've been testing gives you a bit more spin potential. So if you want something in between the gut and the poly, I think the multi with more control is the way to go. I still prefer that. And so a typical multi is usually, or a synthetic gut, which you should avoid, is usually colored like this. You know, natural color, uh, looks a bit like a gut string. But what I like is the, the black velocity. And I have some rackets, some radicals I strung up. So let's have a look at those. You can't see here, but you will see in the video. Uh, this is the velocity. And it what it does that I don't like, I don't really understand. Maybe it's the coating. It actually picks up fluff from the balls really quickly. This is like after 30 minutes of hitting. And it's already moving a bit. So this is the issue for me personally. Although when it plays well, it plays really well. Uh, it might last me three sessions I would guess. It doesn't give you that snapback of a polyester, although it does give some snapback where the strings snap out of place and into place to give some rotations on the ball. It does that better with, than some other multi strings, I think. So this one is a good choice. And then I strung up this radical with head hawk touch. These radicals are identical in specs. I, I went for identical string tensions, 53 pounds or 24 kilos. The Hawk Touch is a, a slightly softer poly, very responsive, something I recommend if you are looking for a good poly that gives you control, but it's not super firm. So uh, this one I, I like a lot, has picked up a little bit of fluff, but not that much and has not moved. So this does not move. It snaps back into place. It does move when you hit the ball, but then it's back into place. One good way to find out if a poly is ripe for changing is to see if you're moving the strings with your fingers and it doesn't snap back. It's like a dead string. You really need to change it. Playing with a dead string loses all its elasticity and you might really get arm problems because then you have no give in the string bed. So uh, that's very important. Multifilament string, head velocity MLT, 24 kilos, 53 pounds. Monofilament, Hawk Touch, 24 kilos, 53 pounds. Which one gives the performance we want? Let's have a go. Let's start with the multi. You have a pretty good spin and launch and everything on the velocity. Over time, as it drops a little tension, like the ball will start sailing out and you will have less grab on the ball. But in as fresh, it actually gives you a quite a decent bit of spin. Similar to like the Exalt string from Babula, but I prefer the velocity. Where the poly is, generally grabs the ball a bit better. Already grabbing some fluff here. And strings starting to move already a little bit. And you obviously have different types of polys, like polys with strong shape, polys that are round, maybe a little bit less spin potential. That you can actually look at the ratings in Tennis Warehouse University. I think that helps a lot with the spin potential. And I agree with many of these ratings based on my personal experience and reviewing. So I wanted to kind of show you, it's not a huge difference, but in feeling when I impact the ball, velocity feels much softer. 
Uh, it might not be everyone's cup of tea to have that kind of pillowy feel. You might not feel as connected. Some might be, some might not. In my opinion, better for the arm than the poly. People are different. Some get arm problems from flexible rackets. Some get from stiff rackets. I feel like the, the multi is a good one for players who ha have like concerns about tennis elbow, whether they had it in the past or they are worried about getting it. So uh, nothing wrong playing with a multi. If you're going to play with a poly and you are a little bit concerned or you're not in the best shape or you're not swinging super fast, then you should really string it as low as uh, possible. Uh, I mean, don't go th below 30 pounds if you don't want to because it might be a rocket launcher, but at least try to string below 45 or at 45 and then you will have comfort for a poly but it's okay. good not to string it higher than 50. I mean, I could play a match with a multi and probably do well. Uh, I played uh, some games here with my buddy Nils, and I felt like I, I wanted to play more aggressively with the multi for some reason. It's like a psychological thing. I just wanted to hit the ball. It just gave me that feeling, and, and the feeling is so important, and that's really what I want to tell everyone, Like, is that if you like something, if you like the feeling of something, uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, like obviously, it shouldn't hurt you, no movement. No movement of the strings. Look exactly the same as it started. Tension drop process will happen quicker, but there's no fluff here. But if you like the feeling of something, stick with that or embrace that. I think the feeling as a tennis player is very important. Even if you like a 90 square inch racket and that's what you want to play with, play with that. I mean, it, it's fine. Uh, unless you get arm issues from your racket and string setup, why don't stick with it? Uh, tennis is about having fun in the end. It's not so much about becoming Alcaraz or, or winning all these matches or whatever. If you want to improve, you might want to look into getting more help from the racket just to accelerate your chances of winning. But the feeling and the confidence of playing tennis is very, very important for most players. And that's why I, I really embrace that you should play with something that you actually very much like. You feel good. Uh, don't feel forced to move to a more modern racket if you don't like that. And I think that's what most people in this, you know, sphere talk about. It's like if you find something that you enjoy and that seems to work for you, then you should stick with it, whether it's a multi, a poly, a gut or a hybrid setup. What's becoming more and more popular is the hybrid setup. So I'm now testing some Toraline, even the Karoo I'm going to test as well. This is another mix, you know, two different polyester strings to kind of get the different characteristics from the string. The main string will, will give it the strongest flavor and the cross string will uh, kind of give a secondary flavor. So you're making a little bit of a dish here in the racket. So um, that's something I can recommend to experiment with. Problem is that the options are endless. And uh, so you might, you know, end up in the racket uh, string jungle and, and never get out of it or, or just will take a long time before you find something you like. So my general advice always is if there's something you like, you just want to buy something, maybe buy it as a guilty pleasure, or use it from time to time, but make sure you stick and keep what you like because it's not that easy to find with all the options that are out there. So for players with arm issues, try a multi, see if it works for you. Otherwise, string a poly very, very low. If you're a more advanced player that hit hard and not so flat, I think poly is the only way to go, but you can also hybrid a multi. I also want to mention a little bit of a, a smart device that I use to check tension after stringing, but also like to check after using. Actually, I check it each time if I remember. Uh, just to see what happens. I've only used this for 30, no, an hour approx. But we can check here. I will place it in the middle of the string bed. And then I put it like that. And it's going to give me a dynamic tension. So this is 36. It hasn't dropped anything from when I strung it, which is impressive. Great. This is head hawk touch. Let's see if the multi dropped anything. So both of these rackets are played about an hour. And this is a great tool. I mean, it's not that cheap, but it's, I, I would say from a real nerd, it's worth it, you know? Yeah, it's the same, 36. So that's great. Both are holding tension well. ERT 300, it's a classic. I actually have an old one and have a new one. And it's something I use uh, since I string myself. And uh, I, I want to make sure that what strings hold tension and, and keep checking them and to give you like some numbers on the tension maintenance in my string reviews. That's all about multi-filaments versus polyester strings. What do you pick? What do you play with and why? Let me know in the comments. I like both, but I'm a poly guy in the end. I do like hybrids a lot, but I also have fun sometimes playing with a multi. Uh, there's, there's also room for that at times. That's all. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.